Good evening to all our podcast viewers, to the community of e-gamers here in Negros and Bacolod City. And of course, all of our viewers in the Philippines and abroad. So, I am Christine Danlag, the co-founder of League of Esports Gamers Alliance Incorporated, or LEGA. So, LEGA is an organization based in Bacolod City that promotes a positive and friendly environment to the community of e-gamers. So one of our goal is to hone amateur e-players to become professional esports athletes. So in tonight's podcast, we will discuss GOG, its functions as a government entity, its role in the esports, and their policies, guidelines, and as well the standard for all e-gamers. So what are the requirements in granting license to the professional e-athletes? So tonight we have our or we are so lucky because we have our special guest um the commissioner of games and uh, i'm sorry the commissioner of games and amusement board and so overwhelmed for our guest tonight so commissioner uh commissioner edward b trinidad sir good evening thank you for uh, coming in our uh, podcast how are you sir uh, i'm good christine good evening everyone uh, mayong yeah. gabi, ganit yung tanan. Yes, mayong gabi sa tanan nga nagalantaw sa atun sa Negros and Bacolod. And yes, of course, to the entire Philippines, there's a lot of e-gamers watching us tonight as well. So, it's a great privilege, guys, that we have um, Sir Trinidad uh, to discuss about GAB and all of the policies and standard procedures on becoming a professional athlete. So actually, not only for esports athletes, what we uh, we will be discussing for tonight, and the, it's actually for the entire community of esports. So, sir, for uh, the start of our podcast, um, I would like to ask if, can you tell us what is GOG and its functions and role in the gaming industry? Yes, thank you. Uh, allow me to introduce our agency. We are... Uh... The Games and Amusements Board, or GAB, as we are uh, uh, called by by the professional athletes. We are the government agency mandated to regulate uh, professional sports in the Philippines. What do you mean when you say regulate? We uh, we craft uh, policies and guidelines. And we implement them uh, in the conduct uh, of uh, professional sports in the Philippines. Our chairman, uh, Bahamitra, and uh, I, being the commissioner, uh, we work hand in hand to regulate professional sports and to support all the endeavors of uh, professional sports, including uh, esports. Uh, we started regulating esports sometime in 20, 2017 when some of the stakeholders approached us because they're having a hard time in getting their uh, documents because they played abroad and then some of their players have expired uh, documents like uh, visa and passports. And other uh, and other documents, so we helped them, and uh, we were able to help them. So it, that started everything. So because they saw that the government is uh, uh, very important in the in esports, sila na mismo yung nagreach out sa amin, and then they told us, how can you help us turn professional? So. We talked to the esports uh, stakeholders, yung mga big players, yung mga teams, like yung uh, execration, yung uh, ano pa ba yung mga ibang teams yan na malalaki. Because we went, we went to, we went uh, abroad when uh, we had tournaments there for Dota. Do namin nakita ganon kalaki ang esports. Yes, Appreciate right. it, and then. Ngayon, uh, it is already being regulated by the government. That started it. 
So, napakagaling talaga ng GAB kasi actually they are one of the main agencies ng government na actually could truly help the uh, gamers. So, not just gamers, there are there are also other uh, entities in the uh, esports that uh, pwedeng matulungan ng GAB. So, they have really an important role in the esports industry. So, uh, along with this uh, podcast, we will go along. We will gonna ask more questions. What are the things that an esports player needs to know in becoming a professional athlete? So, what are the process or the things that they need to secure before they can be a certified esports uh, players or professional athletes? Uh, before, nung nung uh, kasi simula pa lang na regulate natin ang esports, we have no idea kung sino yung magagaling. We have we, we don't even have any idea kung ano yung mga genre na nilalaro. Yeah. And we only rely on uh, those popular teams and popular players na uh, sila sila yung naunang nabigyan natin ng uh, what do you call this licenses professional licenses and then ginawa natin ng ng uh, uh, proseso we reach out to the community and then from there yung mga yung mga uh, organizations ng esports they can we we allow them to be partners with gab they can now uh, recommend to us who are qualified to be uh, issued licenses, professional licenses. Because yun nga, hindi namin kilala yung mga personalities. So, kumingi kami ng tulong sa mga, sa mga teams and other organizations, mga stakeholders, and sila mismo yung tumulong sa amin. So, from there, slowly, nalaman natin sino yung qualified na pwedeng bigyan and uh, kung sino yung mga at uh, what do you call this uh, promoters na credible sino yung mga promoters na medyo quote ang quote uh, dubious ang mga character so kasi kailangan din nating malaman yung mga ganun eh because may mga reklamo no sa amin yes. may mga tournaments na hindi nababayaran yung mga nanalo so right. government has to interfere and then meron ding mga uh, instances wherein yung contracts ng players at saka ng managers or ng promoters are not being followed. So we have to intervene and inaayos natin yun. Tinutulungan natin ang both, ang, ang manager or ang promoter and the, and the athletes themselves. So ganun yung role natin. Uh, and in applying for a license, first, yun nga, we, we need to determine your skill. Dapat, hindi lang marunong maglaro. Dapat, super galing maglaro. Yes. Yun importante doon. Because, anybody can play. I can play. You can play. Yes. But, am I, am I qualified to be a professional uh, athlete? As far as esports is concerned, I don't think so. Di ba? Yes, yes. So, kailangan nating uh, malaman din kung gaano siya kagaling. Kung pwede ba talaga siyang pambato. Yes. Pwede ba at par ba siya with, uh, with the best in the Philippines or even with the best in the world. Kasi ang mga Pilipinos itatatakutan tayo sa buong mundo pagdating sa esports. Yes, correct. Uh, I have been in two uh, PIs, yung the international sa Dota. Uh, I think it was in 2018 and 2019. 2018, it was held in uh, Seattle. Meron tayong tatlong, uh, dalawang teams. Yung Execration and ano yung kay Eric? I forgot the other one. Meron dalawang teams na qualify. Uh, so, World Championship ng TI. So, hindi namin, kasi nga, baguhan kami. Ganun pala kasikat yung mga 
yung mga gamers natin. Yes, correct. Grabe. They are celeb- celebrities in their own status. Ah, uh, yung pangalawang tournament naman, we went to Vancouver. Ah, uh, may dalawang teams din na nag-qualify doon. And then doon namin nakita na kinatatakutan talaga ang mga Pilipino pagdating sa esports. Magagalit talaga tayo. Kaya uh, because of that, we were uh, uh, more uh, encouraged. Lalo kaming uh, nasiyahan. Talagang, talagang back up pa natin itong esports because this is the future of, uh, of uh, professional sports. sports. O professional sports, e-sports. Mas malaki pa ito sa ano, mas malaki pa ito sa mga pa-boxing. Yung mga yung mga sikat nating boxingero, we've, we've also been there sa mga laban ni Senator Manny Pacquiao sa Las Vegas mm-hmm. and si na Jorin ang kahas. But malaki itong mas malaki itong e-sports, mind you. Uh, kaya kailangan suportahan, kailangan uh, bigyan pansin talaga ng gobyerno ang yes. e-sports at ang ating mga professional esports athletes at saka mga esports professionals, mga casters and everybody involved in esports. So, by the way, before I forget, yes, uh, yes. skills wise, dapat magaling ka and then you need to uh, submit your medical. Ano ba yung medical? Uh, yung mga basic lang naman. Uh, check to check up in ka ng doktor and then you will undergo also drug test. Nung, nung nag-professional na yung, ano, yung uh, e-sports, <clears throat> maraming mga foreign uh, at, uh, e-sports athletes nagdalawang isip na pumunta ng Pilipinas because well, we also had our big events here eh, before the pandemic. May mga malalaking tournaments tayo dito. Yes. Ah, uh, natakot sila dahil well, mali naman yung mga informasyon na nakuha nila na pag nag-positive daw sila because you can you can only be issued a license or you can only be allowed to play pag negative yung drug test mo. For screening purposes lang 'yan. Screening lang. Ang ang nakarating kasi sa mga na balita sa mga foreign players na pag nalag, naglaro sila dito at nag-drug test sila at nag-positive sila, they'll get shot, they'll be executed. Hindi <laughs> naman ganun. Para na-exaggerate yung, ano, yung information. Yes, kaya kami, we had to go abroad and talk to his uh, uh, mga big big players in esports itong mga promoters we have to we, we have to we had to explain to them na yung drug test dito sa Pilipinas is being conducted just for screening purposes hindi natin pa-file ng kaso yan hindi lang natin paglalaruin lalo na hindi naman natin i extra judicial killing yan hindi naman ganun so medyo sometime in 2017 and 2018 Medyo nagka-problema sa issue na yan but eventually uh, na-iron out naman so okay na rin. Pupunta na naman dito yung mga magagaling na players abroad, yung mga OG, yung ano pa ba yung mga Russian, yung mga yung mga the best in the world pumunta sila but unfortunately nga yung momentum natin sa esports na putol because of the pandemic but hopefully magnormalize na lahat ito. So yun lang, up, up, magaling ka maglaro, exceptional yung skill mo, and then you will undergo drug tests and all the other medical uh, examinations that will be required. And then, ano pa ba? Uh, so far, yun lang naman. Yun lang naman yung requirements natin. So mga, sa mga promoters naman, I'm not, I'm not really familiar with the requirements, but uh, you have to apply. Kung mag uh, ano ka, kung mag uh, promote ka, you have to apply for a promoter's license. Professional promoter's esports license. And kung caster ka, kung official ka, kailangan mo rin kumuha ng professional license. Similar ang re- ang requirements with that of a professional athlete. 
All right. Well, we are fully loaded with those information you have provided, uh, Sir Trinidad. So actually, maraming players na na-enlighten dun sa mga sinabi mo about GAB, sa, sa licensing, how to be qualified as a esports athlete, how to process the licensing. So yun nga, sabi mo, kailangan nilang mag, maging uh, clear dun sa mga test na kailangan nila. Yun yung drug testing. So, they need to be cleared on that one. And, yun, dapat skilled talaga sila na player para maging professional athlete. And, um, not only for esports players, but also for the other entity, just like the casters and uh, promoter ng, ng mga esports community. So, they need to process license as well. So, regarding or speaking of licensing, sir, since of course, um, yun nga, dahil sa pandemic, um, it's not na parang madali sa lahat kumuha ng license. Is there any other option na like, instead of going to your office, is there an online application that they can process the GAP? Or GAP licensing? Ah, sige. Uh, yung, yung offices ng GAP, meron tayo sa Manila. We are based in Makati. We have a field office in Cebu. We have a field office in Bacolod. We have a field office in Cagayan de Oro, in Davao, and in uh, Sambuanga. So very limited lang talaga yung ating field offices. Hindi naman tayo, wala naman tayo mga regional offices na for every region meron tayo. Field offices lang. And right now, we had some innovations in the application of uh, licenses. You can uh, you can download na your kwan your application and then from there you can communicate with GAP personnel para ma-assist kayo kung ano pa yung kailangan and kung ano yung dapat gawin in order for you to be able to submit your requirements. Uh, hindi naman tayo ganun ka strict basta lang uh, you will be able to submit your documents. Uh, yung yung documents naman na totoo, wag yung yes. wag yung for all you know, yung drug test nyo, hindi totoo. <laughs> di ba? Yung gawa-gawa lang, but uh, you will face the consequences then because Correct. that could be a criminal offense once you submit fake documents. Correct. So, uh, in as much as we want to uh, be uh, liberal or be open-minded and to accommodate everybody uh, as far as the submission of the requirements are concerned, uh, sana lang, we are also requesting those who are apl- applicants, those applicants who wants to get a pro- professional license na to be true and to be honest naman in submitting all the documents. You can go to the GAB uh, website and you can reach out dun sa messenger natin. You can ask questions, you can ask the requirements and we will be gladly, uh, we would be very glad to assist you. Okay, so thank you very much, Sir Trinidad. We will be uh, posting later after this uh, podcast on our uh, Facebook page as well. Uh, helpful links from GAB uh, Facebook pages and the website where you can register or apply for a esports athlete uh, license. So also, uh, since if ever those uh, players or esports entity already had their GAB licenses, I would like to um, ask uh, Sir uh, Trinidad if what are the um, advantages or benefits that those players could get from this license uh, IDs? Well, first things first, if you have a GAB license, professional license, so meron ka ng government-issued ID. Mm-hmm. So pag halimbawa sinabing you need in transacting business whenever, ever, ano, sabihin, uh, you need to a show or submit uh, government issued ID meron ka lang isa gab eh oh. kung, kung isa yung ano pa ba driver's license or whatever or professional license uh, ng uh, civil service and PRC uh, so yun nga meron ka ng professional ID and then uh, pag license ka ng gab the government is there to protect you in what way uh, limbawa, meron kang sinalihan na tournament, 
hindi ka nanalo ka, hindi ka binayaran. So, saan ka pumunta? Andiyan ang gab. We will uh, we will call the attention of the promoter or whoever is uh, has the responsibility na bayaran ka. It happened eh. It happened and the tournament was held abroad. Nanalo yung ating players but yung promoter dun sa abroad, I think it was in Singapore or in Malaysia. Uh, hindi pinayaran yung ating player. So, they asked for the help of Gab and we assisted them. We wrote a letter to the promoter in, I think it was in Malaysia. Uh, we wrote a letter to them and then uh, yun nga, they explained to us kung bakit and then uh, eventually uh, nabayaran naman through, the, through Gab's help. Tapos, pag, yun nga, pag meron kang problema sa iyong manager, may problema ka sa iyong promoter, uh, nandyan ang gab. Pag may, may kailangan kang documents, like uh, work permit, halimbawa, like uh, uh, visa or passport, you can always reach out to us and then we will be glad to assist you in requesting the concerned agency na tulungan ka sa iyong mga documents. So, yun. so see guys, meron na talaga tayong pwedeng malalapitan sa oras ng pangailangan dito sa community. Kasi it's it's not just a um, thing to say, but actually it is a reality that is happening to the community of esports. There are managers, there are players, there are promoter organizations that um, is not having or having a misunderstanding in terms of prices or handling the players. So we have GAB as the main government um, the main government uh, officials that we can run through in terms of these uh, kind of cases. And before uh, I change to the, another question, Sir Trinidad, I would like to ask because, of course, my players, they also want to receive some freebies. And I've heard this one before since I actually attended uh, previous GAB um, seminars as well. Uh, with that card, or I mean ID license of an esports player, um, are, are they also qualified to take the advantages of discounts like in the restaurant or in the uh, food chains? I'm not so sure about it, ano, but uh, may nagsabi sa amin na there's this fast food chain na binigyan daw sila ng discount when they show their... I don't know if it's true, ano? I, can, yeah. I, I don't have any means of verifying it, but wala namang kaming policy na gano'n na gamitin mo yung ID mo to get any freebies or any accommodation or favor or whatever. Uh, but there was one, insta- one instance nga na nabigyan daw siya ng discount because... He showed, uh, nakita na license siya ng grab, professional esports athlete siya. Tinigyan siya ng freebies. I don't know kung, kung sinuwerte lang siya or <laughs> okay. makahain na nagbigay sa kanya. But uh, legally and uh, uh, categorically, I can tell you, uh, wala kaming palising ganun na mm. pwede mong gamitin yun. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully, maybe in the near future, pwede natin yung... Uh, I look forward with the uh, GAB. Baka naman, <laughs> baka naman maka-advantage yung mga players in the future using the um, GAB license ID. So, actually, uh, might be in the future nga, pwede yon. Kasi right now, esports is just a new industry or new or the modern sports actually in the industry. So, uh, yun lang. <laughs> baka pwede naman sa future ma-take advantage din ng other players or ng esports oh, players. Sana, sana. <laughs> we will be happy also na halimbawang may mga establishments dyan who will give favors sa mga esports athletes natin, professional yes. athletes. Uh, we will also be happy na mabigyan sila ng ganung uh, accommodation or favor. Well, thank you very much, Sir Tinidad, for uh, answering it. And since um, GAB licensing is uh, an official uh, license from the government. So most likely the people or the gamers that could take advantage of this 
um, licensee is those that are above 18 years old, right? Uh, before, before that, that that's the uh, policy of the government of mm -hmm. the Ancient Amusements Board na only 18 and above can be given professional licenses. Ngayon hindi na. You know why? Because sa esports, the younger you are, the faster your reflexes are. Right. Di ba? Mas mabilis yung reflexes mo. Kaya, mas bata ka, mas magaling ka. Mm -hmm. uh, but first, we uh, we encourage uh, responsible gaming. Ano yung responsible gaming na yun? Alam naman natin na most of these stakeholders and the fans of esports, mga bata. So, yung iba, uh, unfortunately, medyo, I don't want to use the word nalulong sa game, sa, sa paglalaro, ano, but they spend more of their time eh, na, na, nasa set aside na yung yung iba mga importanteng bagay like skwela nila, like, like yung responsibility nila sa bahay, tumulong sa parents. We, we, that's why we encourage uh, and we support uh, responsible gaming. Unahin muna natin yung mga importanteng bagay sa uh, na dapat natin gawin, especially yung ating pag-aaral. Although there's a career that can be made from esports, but uh, chances, uh, the chances of uh, getting to the top is very challenging. That's why, uh, although kung gusto natin mag-excel, we have to practice, but balance it in ating uh, gaming. Yun ang ating in-encourage sa ating mga esports athletes. Yes, it's all about the balance talaga ng, uh, ng time. But I would like to ask, um, sir, what what are the specifics since it's allowed, not only 18 years old uh, athletes are allowed to join, What do you have the range of the age? Yes, yes. Uh, yun nga, sabi ko, hindi naman kasi ito contact sports. We also regulate boxing. Yes. We regulate mixed martial arts. Yun, basagan talaga ng mukha. Uh -huh. Mga yes. one championship. Kami nagbibigay ng license din sa kanila and permits. But in this case naman, hindi naman ito masagan ng muka, wala namang physical uh, contact dito. We allow uh, minors to be given professional licenses basta exceptional yung skills mo and with the parents' consent. Dapat kahit super galing ka, pag walang parents' consent, hindi ka namin bibigyan ng license. That's pero, right. pero pag skills-wise, napakagaling mo, and uh, your parents are very supportive, nakikita naman nila, hindi mo pinapabayaan yung pag-aaral mo and yung responsibilities mo pang iba, but still, you excel in the sport, and then they give their consent, they write a letter na, I am allowing my son to play in the tournament, ganon, ganon. Pwede namin isyuan ng lisensya yon. Kaya binago natin kasi hindi naman natin pwedeng i-compare i, uh, ang boxing at saka mixed martial arts sa e-sports. Di ba? Right. So, yung minors, kung sa suntukan, kung sa masagan ng muka, hindi pwede. Dito sa e-sports na online lang naman mostly, so why, not, why not give uh, this uh, minor kids a chance kasi yun nga the younger you are the faster your reflexes are so my chance ka talagang mag-excel dito yes correct and actually esports is not a, just only a game it is actually a mind game for the different types of genre sa esports so with all said regarding this um yun nga the age and the um ids is there a specific uh, policies or laws, standard guidelines that the esports community needs to know um, for them to be uh, guided? Nga yung, yung, ating, yung ating policies, yung guidelines natin, uh, before you will be issued a professional esports uh, license, 
either as a professional athlete, esports athlete, professional official, esports official, or caster or whatever. We have this so-called uh, seminar on uh, the code of conduct uh, and ethical standards of a professional athlete. Pare-pareho lang yan sa lahat ng professional athletes. Uh, doon nyo malalaman yung mga responsibilities nyo. Uh, doon nyo malalaman kung ano yung dapat nyo gawin, yung mga hindi nyo dapat gawin, yung mga hindi nyo, yung pwede nyo sabihin on, on air, yung mga hindi nyo dapat sabihin, Uh, kailangan din talagang i-regulate yun eh because uh, yung mga ating how do we conduct ourselves like uh, may mga casters dyan para lang i-hype yung event yes. gagamit ng mga salitang mm-hmm. ano na, yung mga hindi mabuting salitang uh, mm-hmm. which uh, should not be emulated by young kids uh, let, let's bear in mind that majority of our uh, viewers viewers and fans yes. are kids. Although may mga, may mga may dad na rin, ano? Yes. But uh, itong mga bata, they should, uh, they should uh, be guided also. So, dun sa ating code of conduct, dun yung malalaman kung ano basically yung mga do's and don'ts. Ano yung mga guidelines and policies that uh are expected of you as a professional esports uh, stakeholder and professional licensee of GAM. So uh, those policies and uh, guidelines, uh, sir, can, uh, where can they uh, actually uh, check on it from time to time so that they could uh, be guided thoroughly? Well, din nga, uh, before, before namin na issue ng lisensya, mm-hmm. mag-undergo kayo ng seminar na yon, and then Uh, from time to time, pag meron kang ginawang sa tingin namin hindi maganda or may nagreklamo sa amin, we will be calling your attention and then balik tayo doon sa pinag-usapan sa seminar na, o oh, ba diba, ito yung isa sa mga policies ng natin. Ito yung expected sa iyo being a professional athlete but you did otherwise. Ang ginawa mo is uh, yung bagay na Contrary to what you, what you should be doing, so we will call your attention. We will, we will, ano, we will talk to you. We will, we will uh, remind you of your responsibilities. So, yun mga kagamers natin yan na nanood, narinig yung sabi ni Sir Trinidad. Uh, these are the guidelines and things that you should know in becoming professional athletes. So it's not just a game. If you really have a goal and dream to become a professional one, so the licensing or your GAB license is very important. So not only that you are a licensed, um, licensed esports player or professional player, but you will have the protection as well. So this not only for the players, but also for the other entities like the uh, casters and uh, organization. So most of our discussion, uh, we have already tackled the importance of GAP license, the communities and policies. I would like to um, emphasize as well, sir, in that regarding the organizations in uh, creating tournaments. So what are the things that they need to know before they perform any or promote any um, professional uh, tournaments, either amateur or professional gaming? Well, let just let me just uh, give you an idea on the difference of a uh, an amateur tournament and a professional tournament. When you say uh, amateur, you're playing for the flag. There's no prize money. the players are not receiving salaries. So, pwedeng amateur yun. Pag ang tournament mo, walang premyo, walang premyo na pera, amateur ka. Pero pag nag-tournament ka, at may pera kang premyo, we will evaluate kung pasok ka na ba sa professional. Kasi hindi lang naman yun yung criteria. Meron pa isa. 
dapat you are not playing for the flag. Pag hindi ka naglalaro, pag hindi ka halimbawa uh, national athlete, and yung tournament na yun, uh, may prize money. So, pasok ka talaga sa kategory ng professional tournament. So, kailangan mo na ngayong pag ikaw ang promoter, you need to apply for uh, professional uh, what do you call this? Promoter. Dito sa GAB. So, may mga requirements din tayo dyan. Uh, hindi ko lang maisa-isa, but uh, you, you have to you have to apply dito sa GAB. Pag nagpa-tournament ka, and then pag uh, license uh, promoter ka na, and then may pa-tournament ka, may babayaran ka ng permits ngayon. Permit fee. Uh, and then, uh, like, like what I've said earlier, Uh, pag may qualifying yung pa-tournament mo, hindi muna namin kayo, although, although magbayad ka na ng permit, yung mga participants sa qualifying round, hindi muna namin yan na uh, lilisensyahan. Ang lilisensyahan lang natin dyan are those who will qualify sa championship round. Because skills-wise, hindi ka aabot sa championship pag hindi ka magaling. Hindi lang magaling, super, super magaling. At saka... Uh, that would uh, that would uh, qualify you na malisensyahan ka ng games in amusements board as a professional dahil magaling ka na athlete. Yeah. Alright. So, yes. Hindi ka lang dapat magaling. Dapat magaling na magaling ka talaga para maging considered as a professional esports athlete. And uh, also, um, regarding on the ID, let's go back. I would like to ask Sir Trinidad on the licensing of the IDs. What is the duration na magrenew ng ID? What What is the specific ano po, time frame? Ah, uh, one year yon. One year ang validity ng ID. One year. Yes, we we tried sana nagawin uh, two years ang validity, but Unfortunately, hindi kami pinayagan ng National Treasury kasi, let's face it, uh, kailangan din ng funds ng government. So, pag ginawa mong two years, malaki din na mawawala sa gobyerno. So, one year ang validity ng iyong uh, professional license. I see. Yes, because actually, na, di naman, um, it's not, not all players can play that long. So, meron ding parang seasonal lang na games. And they are really need to um, license their uh, professional uh, professional uh, games or uh, being a players in esports. And um, thank you very much, Trinidad, for all the, those answers. And moving forward, um, is there or GAB does have any priority development right now, uh, like programs or uh, projects in esports? Uh, uh... Nung before the pandemic, ang dami nang nagsinasuggest sa amin ng mga stakeholders na baka pwedeng ipasok ng gabi to uh, as part of our program for esports development, ganun-ganun. But unfortunately, nung tumama yung pandemic, uh, medyo nag siya, medyo lumamig, medyo nawala. But uh, we just would like to assure the esports community that... Uh, The government through the Games and Amusements Board, uh, tinitingnan natin lahat kung ano yung pwede natin gawin para sa mga sa mga esports uh, stakeholders, mga licenses natin. Uh, may mind you, may nagsabi pa sa amin noon na, uh, Sir, kami, although, although kumikita kami ngayon na maganda kasi magagaling yung mga teams nila, hindi naman kami forever na athletes. So baka pwedeng baka pwedeng uh, through gab maka maka-qualify kami ng program ng gab para mabigyan kami ng pensyon pag tumanda kami mga ganon. Yes. Ah, uh, namin but uh, yun nga medyo nawala yun because uh, uh, na-, na shift yung aming focus dun sa dun sa pandemic. We had to We have to give assistance doon sa mga professional athletes natin. But uh, rest assured nga, yung mga programs na binigay sa amin, sinabit sa amin ng mga 
uh, stakeholders, we will look into it again. And then we will be glad to, to inform you kung ano yung mga uh, i-consider natin na i-explore natin na baka pwedeng uh, implement ng GAB para sa development ng esports dito sa Pilipinas. Well, thank you very much, um, Sir Trinidad, for all those wonderful answers that you have given to the community. Actually, we have lots of viewers together with us right now. Yun nga sabi ko, hindi lang sa Negros, but actually all over the Philippines and even our, abroad, some are uh, watching us as well because they really want to know what are what is the importance of GAB, how can it help them into their career path and becoming uh, professional athletes. And while going through the uh, comments through our, our live uh, podcast, there are a few, um, uh, or I mean, there are comments that would like to thank you uh, on answering those um, questions. So we have here a few answers. One is from Roland. Very well said by the good commissioner. Information delivered clearly. So also another one from... Uh, Joseph Paulo Solidom, Commissioner is very precise in explaining Kudos. So th mo there's a lot of gamers watching together with us right now and it's very helpful not only through the gamers but for the organizations, to the uh, other entities in esports just like the uh, casters. So we're re we are really thankful Sir uh, Commissioner Edward Trinidad for having you. Uh, as our guest tonight, we are looking forward to more conversations like this with Gab in the future, um, upcom upcoming projects. We will be waiting for it as well. So the community of gamers is um, so overwhelmed and thankful that finally the government have provided them a, a reservoir or of an officials where they can... Um, yung malalapitan ba? Meron na magsasalba sa kanila. Kasi there's, before, nung wala pa no yung gab sa esports, there's actually a lot of conflicts. Yun nga, sabi na mention mo, hindi na babayaran yung mga players, sa mga prices, and same thing din sa mga promoter, parang any hassle. For, but now, with all those information you have given us from the licensing, from the community, and and uh, everything that we have discussed tonight is very helpful. Every words that you have given to us is very important and give means to all of the gamers in our community. So that uh, that is actually the end of all of our questions for tonight, Sir uh, Commission Ed, uh, Edward Trinidad. Do you have any other um, message that you would like to deliver to the community of gamers? Yes. Uh... Sa esports sports world, esports community, sa esports sports uh, stakeholders. Uh, kami personally sa Games and Amusements Board, nandito kami para tulungan kayo because some of, well, there are some na nafe-feel nila na nare-regulate dahil, dahil nare-regulate sila parang para bang kinokontrol, hindi naman ganun. We're just here to guide you, to assist yeah. you. But uh, we are also here to thank you, yung mga stakeholders. You know why? Dahil nung tumama yung pandemic, lahat ng professional sports canceled lahat yung events. Sabong, or horse racing, uh, boxing, basketball, yung PBA, golf, football, volleyball. Ang bumuhay sa amin, alam nyo kung ano, esports. Because even during the pandemic, we allowed esports to continue with your tournaments dahil online lang naman tayo eh wala namang wala namang close contact so there's no violation of the protocols so dahil doon uh, we were able to contribute to the government dahil nagbabayad yung mga promoters ng fees uh, yung iba namang applicants for licenses nagbayad din kaya thankful kami sa esports Dahil tumulong din kayo sa gobyerno. You may not know it. Tumulong kayo sa gobyerno dahil uh, even during the pandemic, tuloy-tuloy yung paliga natin. At dito kami to assist you, to guide you. Don't feel uh, being manipulated or controlled by GAB. 
na yung inyong kalayaan well, may freedom tayo to say anything but responsible din lang tayo sa sasabihin natin dahil may mga may mga uh, unfortunately may mga casters dyan na just to hype the event ang sinasabi yung mga hindi mag- magandang marinig but all, everything will uh, will come to pass thank you sa lahat ng uh, sa esports community thank you very much and Christine and to all of you sa League of Esports Gamers Alliance Maraming salamat. Mayang gabi ka na inyong tanan. Mayang gabi then. Thank you once again. So for the community, you've heard the things that you need to hear. So ito na talaga yung kailangan ng lahat. If you want to be a professional player, if you want to be a um, good or, or promoter that could provide good things in the community, isa lang yung pwede natin puntahan. So they are the GAB. The Games and Amusement Board. So once again, thank you for our viewers who joined us tonight. And especially to our guest, Commissioner of the Games and Amusement Board, Sir Edward B. Trinidad. Thank you very much, sir, for your time. God bless and more power to your office. Thank you.